racing in Talladega. Jake Finch leads him. Tanner Gray on the outside. 32 other drivers ready to go. Andres Perez in the two. He's one to watch in the second row on the inside. I talked to Jake this morning. He said he would love to grab this lead and try to control this race from the very start. The outside lane was really broken up there from the start, Phil. The bottom is the place to be right now. I think it's going to be tough there for the 18 of Tanner Gray to even find a hole. Jason Kitzmiller back in the 97. Seems like he may have an issue. Yep, right there, slowing up. Let's take a look exactly what happened here. Yeah, initially we thought it might have been a tire rub, but I think that's uh, water coming out. He had a split radiator yesterday. Didn't even get to practice because of it. And I'm not sure that's not, uh, that radiator didn't split again and it's pushing all the water out. And that's why he's, he's slowing. And I, I would think that that thing is overheated and it doesn't take long to do it with no water. They're like humans. They need water, right? Mm -hmm. He makes it to pit road. He's driving for CR7 racing. Contact earlier, we're told, from Gus Dean. Yeah, Gus made uh, brought this second pack up. Tanner was with the fir Ooh. first pack. He, he saw Gus coming, moved out in front of him, and then Gus was going to make the way around, and a little bit of a late bo block by Tanner. Well, your first instinct is to block. You see somebody pull out a line, and you're leaving that lane. You want to make that move, but Tanner has enough experience with all of his truck races he's run on super speedways to know, hey, this is way too early for me to risk this. He obviously pulled back down and lost some track position, but he kept that race car in one piece. Right now, Andres Perez does not want to be in second at the end of this race. He's finished second twice in his career. He still wants that first win. He's driving the two car. I don't know what kind of two jinx we got going on there, but man, he's come so, so close. And he was one of those drivers at Daytona running second in that last lap crash. All right, the caution is out. This is the break. We'll have modified live stops. They can come down, make adjustments, take tires. We'll bring that to you coming up next. Heather, what's happening with the six? Well, as you can see here, the tow truck giving him a push. The car just shut off on him. They told him to try to recycle the engine and get it started, but it will not fire. So a tough break here for LeVar Scott. Really tough break. Been running top 10 all race long and then something random after your first pit stop. First restart today. Let's see if he gets a signal to his teammate. Green flag once again, Jake Finch leads them. Chris Wright is right there, his teammate. Both lanes got a pretty good start there with Frankie Munez being on the bumper of Andres Perez, pushing pretty hard. Yeah, Christian Frankie Rose. did a nice job there. Christian Rose in the 32, laid back a little bit, made up that ground just now, got to the bumper where he needs to go. There's some shuffling going on. Looks like Gustine may be moving in. Dropped to the bottom there, left his teammate Tony Bridinger up on the top by herself following behind Frankie Munez. Bottom definitely has the strength on these restarts. Well, if he's able to pull this off, this is the most uneventful race he'll ever have and go to victory lane in. Final lap. Can Jake Finch hang on for the win for his first Arca Menards National Christian Series Christian Rose pulls out win. a line. Tanner Gray fills the hole. He doesn't go with him here. Christian Rose, he's been He patient. went for it. He's going for it. Will he have any help right now? No. Chris Wright trying to block there in the second spot. Doesn't work. He slips back. They're Gives up that third time. spot. Yep. Gus Dean stays to the inside. Puts Christian Rose back to fifth. So Christian goes for it. Loses two spots. Watch that mirror, Jake. Just watch that mirror. Keep that 15 car behind you. Oh, the 55 does not go with Tanner Gray. Meanwhile, Jake Finch, he told us he doesn't use his mirrors a whole lot. Listens to that spotter. The move comes. Remember, the start-finish line is deep into the racetrack. Not at the normal spot. He gets it done. <laughs> wow. Jake Finch, a perfect race, leads all 76 laps. Shannon Rush back to victory lane as the crew chief.